Good evening. My name is Damon Gordon. I'm the culinary director for Lowry's Restaurants. And today I just want to talk about a couple of things. Uh, cooking temperatures, uh, how we hold the beef uh, until you're ready to eat it once it's cooked, and also the reheating process for individual cuts. So first and foremost, uh, cooking temperatures. Uh, once you cook your whole prime rib, um, cook it. We cook ours in all of our restaurants. It's about 122, 123, which is just right around that rare and then we hold it for a minimum three four hours before we serve it at home um, you don't need to necessarily go that extreme but I would say a minimum of 45 minutes to an hour reason being it helps the meat uh, settle the juices settle through the the fibers of the meat because obviously when you you cook anything even though you cook it low and slow as we've given you that 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 cooking technique uh, once you put anything cold into something warm it tenses so we just want it to relax so cooking temperatures 121 when it's 22 is it like rare um, 130 to 132 133 medium rare 140 to 143 is medium um, 150 152 155 is medium well and 160 and above is well done. One trick I'll give you um, for medium, you always know when a piece of meat is medium because when you touch it and the blood rests on the top of the meat, that's medium. Uh, if you let it sit for three hours, by the time you're gonna carve it, you're gonna get close to that, that temperature of, of medium rare. Now, hot holding the beef. So once you've cooked your prime rib to the temperature that you like, rare, medium rare, whatever it is, what we suggest is, is you turn your oven to the lowest it can be so you're you're stopping the cooking process and what that will do in that warm environment what it will do is it will help like I mentioned a few moments ago will help relax the beef last but not least and when you're reheating individual cuts so let's say for example um, you have a Lowry's cut and you want to reheat that let's say in the microwave what I suggest you do is, is that once you put it onto the plate, um, don't just put it in one minute on cook. Uh, that temperature is too, too harsh, um, and then you know, you're just gonna cook the beef well done. You wanna check your temperature and power range on your microwave. Have it as low as you possibly can, and maybe put it on 35, 45 seconds first. Take the beef out, if it's see where it is, if it, you need it a little bit more, then you add a little bit of time. So utilizing the same technique as we do when we cook the beef from raw and even hot hold the beef, you wanna kind of look at using that kind of um, technique when you reheat the beef. So not just put it in full power because all you're gonna do is you're just gonna make the beef well done, which is not necessarily what everybody's choice is. So there you go, I gave you some, some good information there. Um, Bon appétit.